as we are coming up upon the first anniversary of the pontificate of Pope Francis, we rejoice together as the Diocese of Madison that the Lord has given us a wonder, such a wonderful Holy Father who has certainly brought some new life and enthusiasm and energy into the church. And we're so grateful to the Lord for using Pope Francis to accomplish that. We at this time are called to reflect on what Francis is really getting at because the news media are on a campaign to misinterpret what Pope Francis is teaching just as they were on a campaign to misinterpret what the Second Vatican Council was teaching 50 years ago. The mass media are doing the very same thing they are creating a spirit of Pope Francis, which is not the real Pope Francis, just as they created a spirit of Vatican II, which was not the real Vatican II. And so it's important for us after a year, having listened carefully to Francis pray over what he says, to try to, in a, a succinct way, to try in a succinct way to clarify for our people the uh, meaning of what he's actually saying because the mass media has created a kind of a fog of war almost around Pope Francis. And everybody hears one or two words and they get all enthusiastic and they jump up and down and uh, after that the matter is forgotten or it's misapplied. So what we have to do after a year is take stock of what our Holy, Holy Father is really saying. And based on my brief experience in greeting him, and based on my careful listening to his words, I, I'm choosing this year to make the point that truth and charity can never be separated. And the beautiful images to express that are the beacon of faith and the fire of charity, working together to enlighten and to warm our hearts so that we might each day treat more and more people as Christ himself would treat them. That's what it's all about.